Hi, I'm Sam. I'm from the Inkling Art Space in Fremantle, which is above the beautiful Paper Bird Children's Bookshop. Today we are going to be making a terrarium. It's really easy, you just need a few simple things. So you need a jar or a glass or a bowl, some soil, some plants and some stones. Alright, let's get started. I'm going to use this nice old jar here. I've cleaned it beforehand. It's always good to clean them so that you can actually see the beautiful terrarium that you're making. The first thing is to add some gravel and all the small stones into the bottom. And what that does is it provides drainage for your wonderful terrarium. You can also add a layer of old fly screen or even old stockings above the stones and that can help prevent the soil from sinking down. I can't be bothered doing that today. So we're going to add in a bit of soil. You can use potting mix, doesn't have to be a specialist mix. It's nice if you want to but any old potting mix will do. Stick a little layer in, don't make it too deep because you want your plant to be able to fit inside. I think I'm going to use these nice ones here. So take it out of its little container, give it a little squeeze to make the roots happy and pop it in and then I'll just grab its friend and take your time with this stage, have fun choosing your plants and making sure they look really nice inside. If you can't quite reach your fingers a chopstick is really good to help push things around. And when you're happy, top it up with soil. So I'm going to cover up the roots by coming around the edge here. And give it a little shake just to let the soil settle down. Oh, missed a bit. Now, the next thing is to clean the glass because as you can see, I've managed to get it really dirty. So, just give it a wipe. And this will help make your terrarium look super, super amazing. All right, now that we have our plants inside and they look pretty happy, we get to decorate. So I'm going to give this to a friend of mine who really loves cats. So I made a tiny little cat out of plasticine and I poked it onto a piece of matchstick so that it can sit down in the soil. So I'll just poke that down inside there. And I'm gonna use a bit of gravel. You can get colored gravel or pretty stones from all kinds of places, nurseries and even pet shops. I'll just pour it in and turn the jar to make sure it's looking amazing from every side. Oh, that tiny cat's looking pretty happy. Meow, meow, meow. And I'll just shake it again to settle the gravel in. Check if there's any damp weird spots that are empty and I think that's pretty perfect. What I'll do before putting on the lid is give it a drink. Just a little one and then I'm going to pop on the lid. If I was using a cactus or a succulent I would leave the lid off because when we put the lid on it helps keep it nice and humid inside. So things like ferns and these little plants love to be humid. Cactuses not so much, they'll really go all soggy if you put the lid on. And there we have it. An easy peasy, awesome terrarium that makes an excellent gift for your teacher, for your best friend, for your grandma, or maybe even you could keep it for yourself. Have a great time making your terrariums.